This is task three from the second sample assessment for business task. This task is about analysing profits and losses of a partnership and calculating national insurance contributions. Okay, let's have a look at the first part of the question there. So we've got quite a bit of information. Let's have a look at the requirements first. So part A, calculate the trading profits for each partner by completing the missing entries in the appropriation of profits below. All entries should be stated to the nearest pound. So we can see we've got a column for Hugo, Margot and James, and then we need to work out the salary and profit share for the two periods. So we've got a period to September 24 and a period to 31st of January 25. Okay, so I'm guessing that there's going to be some sort of change in the structure. So let's have a look at the information then. So Hugo and Margot have been trading as a partnership for many years, sharing profits as follows. So Hugo is paid 1,200 per month and Margot 1,400 per month. So that's a, a salary, uh, although remember for tax purposes, we still need to tax that. It's, it's not really an expense to the business. It's an appropriation of their profits. It's just a fixed amount. And then the remaining profits are shared equally. Okay, so uh, that, that's the, the business to begin with. And then on the 1st of October 24, James joins the partnership. Okay, so we've got a, a new relationship now. We also have James who gets a salary and they've changed the profit shares. So we know that the partnership taxable profits for the year ended 31st of January 25 were 287,652. And the partnership profit allocation has been partially completed. Okay, so what we need to do then is work out the, the time period, don't we? So we've got the period to the 30th of September 24 because on the following day, 1st of October 24, James joins the partnership. Okay. And we've got a, a year in total, don't we? So we need to think about uh, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So that's going to be eight months. And remember, uh, counting on your fingers is a good way to deal with this. Uh, we, we've seen so many questions when we're, we're marking this for, for students that uh, people just get the, the wrong number of months. So just count them off using your fingers to help you. So we've got an eighth month period. So we know that Hugo is paid £1,200 for eight months. So that's going to be £9,600. So there we are. That's the salary for this first period, 9600 And then what about Margot? So Margot gets 1400 for the eight months. So that's going to be 11200 So that's the total salary. Remember, James isn't part of the partnership, so it's all zeros here. Okay. And then what we've also got to do is work out, well, how much is the profit share? Well, we need to work out, well, how much is the profit? So let's assume that the profits are earned evenly over the whole period. So we've got a total profit for the year of 287,652. And we want eight months of that. So eight months of this figure is 191,768. And remember, we've already allocated 20,800. So if I deduct 20,800, that gives me 170,968. Okay, so let, let's just go over that to make sure we're, we're, we're all happy with it. So we took the 287,652 and then divided by 12 to work out the monthly profit and multiplied by eight to work out the total profit we should get for the first period. And that gave us the 191,768. And then we deducted the 20,800 salary to give us a balancing figure, the 170,968. So that's how much needs to be shared between the two partners. And let us remind ourselves how they do that remaining profits are shared equally. So we just need to divide that figure by two, and that tells us that each partner will receive 85,484 as their share of the profit. 
remember that's not necessarily received in cash. Yeah, where the whole idea of the appropriation account is we're just sharing the money between the various partners. Okay. Right now, for the remaining period, so we've got four months left, haven't we? And we can apply these salary figures now. So Hugo gets 1,500 for the remaining four months. So that's going to be a total of 6,000. And Margot gets 1,800 for the remaining four months. So that's going to be 7,200. And then James gets 1,000 for the remaining four months. So James is going to get 4,000 as a fixed appropriation of profits. And then for the final row there, what's our profit share? So remember, we've got 287652. That's the total profit for the year, isn't it? And then at the moment, looking at our table, we have shared 208,000. 968 between all the partners so that means that we have a remaining 78,684 that we still have to share between the three partners okay. and we're going to do that in the ratio of 40 to 30 to 30 so that means we can put 40 percent and give that to Hugo so that's going to be 31,000 400 and oh well a bit of rounding to go here so what does the instruction tell us all entries should be stated to the nearest pound so that's 31,474 rounded to the nearest pound and then for the other two partners they're getting 30% each so that's going to be 23,605 for both of them And let's just make sure that this all works nicely. So we should have a total profit of 287.652. Yeah, that's the figure that we have there. Okay. Right, let's move on then to part B of the question where we're focusing on national insurance. Remember that national insurance is covered in the reference materials looking at section 2. So we're told for the tax year 24-25, uh, Shanika has taxable profits of 46,782. Calculate her class four national insurance contributions. State your answer to the year as penny. If your answer is zero, enter zero. So we've got our taxable profits of 46,782. So that's our starting point for our calculation. So there's our profits. But we know that the first 12,570 is tax free, so we don't have to pay any national insurance on that. So we take the 46,782 and deduct 12,570. So that gives us a remaining 34,212. And then up to 50,270, we're going to pay national insurance at a rate of 6%. So we can multiply by 6% and that gives us 2,052 pounds and 72 pence. Okay. Uh, we don't have income above the 50,000 so we don't have to worry about the extra 2%. So in our answer we can put the and 52 and 72 pence.